We are goofy. We are a little goofy. <laughs> but hey, we're back for another episode with Who on Two Wheels. Oh, everybody. <laughs> How are ya? Terry and I are getting ready to hit the road today, so we're going to go for a ride. Nice, beautiful spring day. It's been storming like crazy for a while. Absolutely been storming. Yeah, I've been getting floods and things like that going on around here. So, But uh, we're, we're high and dry, and the sun's out. We're going to get on the bike and take it for a spin Wait, today. Wait, are we going to go look for something in particular? Yeah, the poppies are blooming. Terry's a huge fan, so we're going to jump out there. Go see if we can find her some poppies to look at. Take some pictures of them. Take some pictures of some poppies. Maybe roll around in or something. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go for a ride today. And we thought this would be a great opportunity to talk to you guys um, about some tips that we've learned over the years for riding two up. Absolutely. So we've we uh, obviously put a lot of miles on together riding uh, two up on the motorcycle every year. And we get questions about it. Um, a lot, especially from a lot of uh, the ladies out there that maybe might be interested in riding two up, but have uh, they've had some bad had some reservations or had a bad experience or whatever. So um, maybe this will help some of the guys out there that are riding with that helmet on the back. So you, because you're hoping some gal's going to want to ride jump on the back with you. Uh, why should she? <laughs> well, they might. It's just a matter of how you how you handle the situation, whether you whether she rides again or not. They'll know immediately whether they feel safe or not. <laughs> and that's important. Yeah. So, hey, join us on out here for our ride today, and uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, talking about some of the things that we pay attention to while we're riding two up, and hopefully that helps you guys out there. And uh, Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Let's go. Uh, it sure feels good to be out in the sun on a nice warm day on the bike again. I thanks so much for wanting to take me along for some wind therapy. Oh, uh, you know, I always love to have you along with me. Hey, check out these poppies blooming. Yeah, the hills are popping with poppies. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, check it out. We got uh, some two up tips coming to you today. And this uh, video is geared probably more towards newer riders and new passengers. But we all probably can learn something along the way, too. Let's get started with how we get on and off the bike. Since kickstands are, they're stable, but they have been known to sink into hot pavement or soft ground and could potentially topple over onto your passenger while your passenger is getting on, we always, uh, I get on the bike first with the kickstand down, stand the bike up, and then Terry gets on. I put my left foot up on the floorboard, swing my foot over to the right by holding stand shoulder just to steady myself over. And then I pull the kickstand up. I leave the kickstand down just in case I get surprised by her getting on and pulls the bike over. Now when we get off the bike, it's... I just do the opposite. So Terry and I can't even count how many ladies have approached us and talked about how they've gotten on the back of somebody's bike and been totally terrified riding with a, with a guy. And I've, I've found that there's a, a lot of times, whether it's a guy or gal that's taking a passenger on, sometimes they want to impress that person and show them how good they can ride and all they're that sh stuff. They're showing off. And they're kind of showing off. And, and that's probably the worst thing you can do with a new passenger. I mean, this is a brand new experience for that person. They've never experienced it before. You need to take it easy. It's going to be a big enough thrill for them just being on the bike and rolling around. Not, you know, you, there's no need to to uh, impress them with how fast you can go and how hard you can turn and all that stuff. So keep that in mind. Just uh, make sure that passenger that you're taking on board is able to enjoy the ride. So ride nice and safe and calm, especially those first few times. If I'm taking a new passenger for a ride, one of the instructions I always give them is just to stay with me. They don't need to lean extra or do anything different. If wherever my body goes or my head goes, just follow my lead. You can't always see what's uh, up ahead. So you just have to just kind of go with the flow and don't tense up because if you tense up, then he senses that and that's not good. And with a little bit of practice, you can ride the most technical roads like this one right here and see some views like that. Having an extra set of eyes as a passenger is pretty cool because, I mean, you might miss this if you were riding past, but I saw it, and so here we are, coming back. Great place for lunch, as it turns out. Yeah, it was <laughs> awesome. And then you, you always see all kinds of like, critters on the road that, you know, when you're riding, you're concentrating, and I'm your, your other eyes. I'm not sure you'll always see camels and giraffes like we did today, but... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but and 
about a castle. <laughs> There's a castle occasionally. <laughs> If you're a newer rider or you're just starting to ride with a passenger, I highly recommend finding a big, open, safe parking lot where you can practice some slow speed maneuvers, practicing U-turns, stops, starts, uh, just the stuff that can kind of hang you up with the, with the extra weight, uh, you know, sitting high up on the bike like that. Uh, one of the things that I, I had to practice quite a bit early on when Terry and I first started the magazine was uh, Terry having to turn around and get photos, you know, doing the photography on the bike. Yeah, I mean, there's like scenes or uh, scenery that I want to get a picture of, and I'll like totally turn halfway around and Stan compensates for it. So. And that, that could be problematic in a pack of bikes, you know, if, you, if all of a sudden you your line adjusts quickly. So I've had to adjust to that over the years, and uh, uh, it's you know taken some practice on my part, but now we feel very safe doing it no matter what crowd we're in. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified when our next video comes up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to Hill on Two Wheels. And leave a comment. Yeah, let us know your thoughts of two up riding. Maybe you got some great ideas that we didn't even think of. So please share.